1990s gaming? No way! In 2024? Impossible! Not anymore. These highlights were taken from my Twitch stream. If you want to see this live, follow me on my Twitch channel. I hope you enjoy! So uh, guys, welcome to Sega Saturn Bio Simulator. This is the game we're playing today. I, I tricked you all twice. We're not actually playing the original Need for Speed. <laughs> Damn it, Trikaki trapped us in watching an old screen. Real. Welcome to 90s gaming boys and girls. <laughs> Was the game based off cops and robbers? Nah. The original recently for speed is based off just driving and racing. That's it. So, the cool thing about this game is I could probably complete all of tournament mode in this entire stream. And I think we're gonna do that. Okay, imagine you trade your Tiguan for a Civic. If you trade your Tiguan for a Civic, it better not be anything from 2013 and later, because the new Civics look like utter garbage. Also, something really cool about the Saturn version, and this is also, I think, the PlayStation 1 version, you can change the time of day you drive at. Alright guys, let's choose a car. Pick Super and appease your inner six-year-old. Fun fact, I didn't care about the Super when I was six. We could do the Supra, we could do the RX-7, we could do the NSX. Um, what would I? What would you do if you pull up to my house in the 2024 Civic? Plus skin, I would make sure you never drive away. <laughs> NSX or Supra? Mm -hmm. By the way, fully detailed interiors in 1995 or 4. And I don't know if I said this, but... This is the Sega Saturn version, and I was going- I was contemplating on- can you not? Dude. <laughs> I was contemplating on playing the, um, 3DO version of this game, because it- it plays way differently. It's much slower, and it's more like a driving game. Like, a legit driving game. First person, why can't we have that on modern Need for Speed games? Because it would take way too long. <laughs> No upgrades? We don't upgrade cars in this game. They are as is. Stock factory racing. This is real NASCAR, guys! <laughs> Fortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get higher than freaking... Well, actually, no. Maybe in the corners. Hold on. There's one advantage that playing on the Saturn has, and that's the fact that you get really high-quality 32-bit audio sounds. Oh, come on! So close. So this is what... Mike and chat got, by the way, on YouTube chat. Someone wrote one of the game's cheat codes and notes of the manual. Oh, don't use them. Don't use them. That's so stinky. <laughs> this dude's got the PlayStation version. Now, if someone shows up with the, uh, with the 3DO version, we'll be perfectly set for life. And one thing this game is, is it's pretty hard to drive in this game as well. Oh, the switchback! That switchback! What are you doing, NSX? Hey! Oh my god, that Supra! Those two Supras! Ah, have I tried using brakes? I do. The brakes in this game are really weak, though. And also, something the game doesn't tell you is some of these cars, right? They lock up. The game doesn't tell you that some of these cars don't have ABS. Catching this super is not going to be easy because it's got the same top speed as me. So I'm going to have to outdrive this dude. Never mind. This track's going to be my best chance at catching this Supra because of all the twisties. Ah! I sent it so hard and I just couldn't make it stick. Catch this freaking Supra now. That was evil, man. Come back here, I wanna fucking set things straight. <laughs> Got you this time. And I'm keeping this lead. Japanese investors collected contacted EA Sports to create Oh I know about it. This in Japan, this game is I believe called Nissan GT something overdriven. Skyline Memorial. Yes. I kinda wanna play that version. Like, of all things, they, they chose to just replace every car in this game with Skylines. The game is basically a wet dream for every Skyline fanboy! But it's so weird. 
early games are so funny. Different versions and different regions never matched up sometimes. You're still buying to go to flea markets. The prices of retro games are really affordable. Oh, don't even get me started on that. Retro games today cost freaking several fucking organs. That's ridiculous. The disc is mint. I wish I could say that about my Saturn disc. When I was at the budding age of three years old, I got my hands on my fa on what was my father's Sega Saturn, it's now mine. And, well, three-year-olds don't understand the value of keeping discs in good condition. So it's kind of scratched up. It still works, though. This is the, the race with the, uh, where NSX would be good. So, uh, Kevin, it's time to get some NSX action. Your mom threw out your old stuff? Oh god. God, no. I hate hearing when people freaking say, Oh, my parents threw this old thing out, that old thing out. No. What the hell, man? NSX more like NS sex. <laughs> no diamond doors. No, we are not honey. We are not horny today. We do not do this stuff. And the cool part about this game is I get to play it on my controller, which I'm glad that I didn't have to play the uh, DOS version with on because my controller doesn't work. And also, you guys would hear the constant slammering of my keyboard. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this. Oh, I got a good exit out of that corner. Come on. Stop. Don't do that to me. I got the super on the right. Apparently somehow faster. Probably because it handles better. He understeered into the wall, I got this. Don't you try and squeeze me out, it won't work. Never understood why people would throw away good viables to some random truck in the west. I have no idea. All I know is I feel like the NSX was not a good choice for this track. Oh, come on, can I get this guy? Come on! It's gonna be so close, dang it. It is time for good car. It is time for Dodge Viper RT-10. By the way, this car is ridiculously overpowered in this game because it accelerates stupidly fast. Yo, the Viper, yes. The funny chat, kaboom. My pee pee go kaboom. I don't know why I had to say that. <laughs> How difficult is this one to, to drive in compared to the others? PlayStation 1 version is the same. P PC version is also the same. And, um, comparing. Yeah, the. Corvette's got a higher top speed. Uh, comparing the 3DO. Oh, you mean the Viper? Huh? No different, really. Fucking Porsche? Fucking midlife crisis wannabe bastard? Oh, fucking wreck your shit! Oh, absolute power world, hello! Ah! Don't hit the back of these cars, they are making you lose all control. Porsche, more like Porsche. <laughs> Sell him. <laughs> Don't fuck with the knot. <laughs> Hello, Tusky. Oh, I'm gonna nap third. Haha, <laughs> get screwed. You idiot, you don't know racing lines. Pee pee go kaboom. Oh, <gasps> we're not gonna talk about that one. All right, the pee pee go kaboom. I don't know. I just felt like saying that. It was kind of funny. Ch chonky kit. No, don't inflate me. Don't make me fat. Inflates you. No, don't! Out of my way, hey, Corvette. You are general garbage. Big Wong. Big Wang Alert! Big Wang Alert! <laughs> Black Panther. Does he even do that anymore? Do you say Big Wang Alert anymore? I haven't watched him since like 2020. How much tax are I had to commit to afford all those soup cars? We don't talk about that. VTubers don't play VTubers don't pay taxes. I mean What? By the way, this section I used to hate as a kid. Cause I could never figure it out. But now as an adult, I'm pretty good at it. You aren't a VTuber yet. Yeah, I know. Is the car roster the same between versions? There is one car on 3DO that is absent. Ch 
trying to concentrate on these super freaking tight turns. Ah! Stop pit maneuvering me! I am not getting first on this track unless a miracle happens. What is that accent I have? Uh, it's an accent of all time. I'll reveal one more my accent's from. I am actually from New York, but I'm not telling you where. The car roster is same between versions. PS1, Saturn, and DOS have a special car, and 3DO doesn't have that special car. Right, now we go to my personal favorite track. And we're gonna use the Corvette because it's fast. Guys, the interior of this Corvette's got a cool dash. How is this man in a Porsche faster than me, huh? Back where you go. <laughs> man, I kind of wish I had the arcades. Not the arcades. Yeah, it was the arcades. I don't know what it was called, but there was a, um... There was a Sega Sam peripheral. That was basically like a steering wheel, and you could you could use it on this game, and it was really cool. The C5 Corvette is like if a fanboy Miata drank three monster cans. Why does everything I do when I stream have something to do with fanboy? Like, what the actual hell? <clears throat> Holy Jesus, that fucking dive. But you know what? I could do that kind of a dive too, Mr. Corvette. In brown. Oh, did I spin him out? Ah, I got fucked. Hmm. People think I'm a f I am a fanboy. Because you are. They observe that you are. <laughs> oh my god. Even Twitch chat is saying it. For fuck's sake, I can't escape this. I swear, it's because of my voice, right? It's all it is. <laughs> Charlie, yes! <laughs> if this game is no underground hearts, should we just call it Need for Speed Ground? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Need for Speed Atmosphere takes place in 2077 where cars can fly. I'd fucking play that. <gasps> oh my god, you reminded me! Childhood game unlocked! There is a game I used to play all the time, right? Called Rush San Francisco 2049. I should play that on stream. Zoomy dear, are you actually? Really? Rush, rush, rush. Yes. Yes, literally correct. Rush games have fun physics. They do. I played the ever living shit out of 2049. It was so fun. I got like every single coin that you could collect in the game. 2049 also had all cool modes. Oh yeah! The battle mode, the stunt mode, the gauntlet mode, which I only completed once because that was a fucking nightmare and a half. We love playing Rush 2049 on PJ1. Not sure what that is, so yeah. Oh, Project at 64. Oh, you play the N64 version. Oh. I don't know what version it is, but it's in a compilation called Midway Midway Arcade Cl Arcade Treasures 3. It's on the GameCube. That's the that's where I was playing it. Oh god. Oh, this is a difficult choice. The Type 12 TR or the Diablo. Oh, who am I kidding? We're going with the Diablo. <laughs> there is no other choice. Oh, Diablo sound my beloved. Saying in an interesting way. What do you mean interesting? <laughs> Diablo! <laughs> sure. Diablo kun. Itayo! Alright, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Purple Diablo! Is it possible to change the paint? Sadly, that's not possible. That's unfair. If I played in two player mode, I could get a purple Diablo. But then player two would have it. And not me. Also, this is my most raced on track. So if I can't win on this, that's just pathetic. What the fuck was that dive? Ah! Dude, I'm literally stuck on the outside because of this purple Diablo. Out of my goddamn way. I'm not winning on my best track. I'm not losing on my best track. Fuck that shit. Oh, crash. Physics.exe has entered the chat and simultaneously left. Ah, the Diablo has no ABS. Fuck. I hate that the Diablo has no ABS. I love running over this bridge.
Do I play Hopper Suit Remastered? No. I have it, but I don't play it. Should have played it. I mean, I do. I did actually play it. I have it on Switch. And I also have the PC version because I got it on stupidly cheap sale. Oh my god, I am being gangbanged from the rear by these rubber banding AIs. At least it's not underground. One level's of garbage. Now, the next stage is literally, I'm gonna call. It's a literal Togue stage. And it sucks. Guys, welcome to the tug stage of a under of a, of a Need for Speed Grounds one, and unlike the rest of the uh, courses here, believe it or not, when you're on the snow, you have no grip. Thankfully, the AIs are not super fast here. You can't deny the allegations. I will deny the allegations. You guys have no actual, real, tangible proof. You can just say my voice sounds like this, and that's it. That's nothing. Oh, come on, man. That was gonna be a good overtake. But no, you had to, like, be a big l Ferrari, please. Dude! That yellow Ferrari. Okay, now I'm gonna start focusing on this race, because I want to actually win this one. Alright, back into first, where I belong. I win this race. Are you gamer crouched locked in? I was. Oh, I was. We now just have this race. Well, the sun's starting to go down. Let me show you something cool. Once I complete this track, if I win it, I think I pretty much have shown the entire game. <laughs> this, this car sounds pretty cool as well. But that horn's so funny. Oh, this corner's so weird. What are you doing? Why are you pushing me into the wall? That's not fair. Lamborghini, stop showing me your ass. I like you and all, but no. I don't want anything with that. How does the handling feel? Is it similar to other, other Need for Speed games? It is way different. Way different. It's like this weird... I don't know really how to describe it. You gotta play it yourself and then you'll kind of understand. Come on, Diablo. <laughs> I can't see where my racing line is because your ass is in my face. Fernando is faster than you. What do you mean? What do you mean faster? We mean Fernando is faster than you. As I muck up this turn bad. Okay. Dude, what is happening? <laughs> I am being punted around as if my car weighs nothing. I have one lap left to catch first place. I can catch this guy. I can catch and overtake him. Come on, man. Dang it. Ah! Oh well. I tried so hard, man. I tried really hard. Hmm, so I guess the game thinks it's funny to not unlock. Alright, well. Super secret ultra cheat code here because I am not gonna go through those tracks again to unlock what I need to unlock Here's the car that you unlock when you beat every race first. It's kind of crazy Watch me overtake with ease. Oh, oops This car also turns really weird Oops Femboy Racing Simulator? What? I'm gonna punt this Ferrari. I'm gonna punt myself, apparently. That car's got the moves. Got the moves like Jagger, and I think I just killed a man. But yeah, no, this is the final track and the final car that this game has to offer. Honestly, this is such a really fun little game. It is a bit annoying to drive in because everything feels like it's mega oversteer, mega understeer. But if you can get past that, emulate it on PS1, Sega Saturn, go find DOS box and emulate, not emulate, but oh god, what the fuck. Never had that happen before, that's a first. If you find the DOS version, install it in DOS box, play it there. 
Or if you want the real experience just without this car, find a 3DO emulator or buy a 3DO and then get the original game on there. A jump was so big in a flashback to a dream and almost had the same sensation. Oh, you just reminded me of the time that I had a dream, right? I was walking along a train bridge, really, really high up. You look down, there was a bunch of sharp rocks at the bottom. And I was like, wow, that's a far drop. And then I decided it'd be a fun idea to jump off the bridge. And so I fell really far. And when I hit the ground, I woke up and I was ba and I bounced in my bed. To this day, I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea how why that happened. No one is stupid enough to buy a 3DO. Are you underestimating me? God damn it. <laughs> the car of tomorrow. The car of tomorrow has absolutely no grip on banked corners. What's a 3DO? A Panasonic 3DO is a 1993 console that was... It was 32-bit, and it was one of the first... Where's my fucking grip? It was one of like the very first 3D consoles, I guess. But it was it was completely squashed by the Saturn and PlayStation One. Did I? I think I forgot to mention that this is literally the first game I ever played in my life. So maybe this is why I like racing games. There we go. Thank you for coming. Have a good night. Bye bye.